This is Derek Karchner from International Insurance Group, and today we are going to review the physical damage and theft coverage provided under a Mexico auto policy. This coverage will not cover the basic coverage, extended endorsements in their entirety, or MEX visit coverage. There are other training videos that cover these. First off, it is important to understand that there are differences between a Mexico auto insurance policy and a U.S. auto insurance policy. Primarily, this is because unlike the U.S. that uses an open peril coverage form, Mexico uses a named peril coverage form for their auto policies. When it comes to covered losses to the insured's vehicle, there are two sections of named perils. For all companies, Section 1, or physical damage, includes collision, defined as you hitting something or something hitting you, upset or rollover, and glass breakage. ABBA and ACE also include under Section 1 physical damage coverage for fire, lightning, and explosion, as well as forces of nature or natural phenomena such as cyclones, hurricanes, hail, earthquake, volcano, avalanche, flooding that is not due to the natural movement of the tides, landslides, sinking, collapse of trees and buildings. GNP, however, covers fire, lightning, explosion, and natural phenomena or forces of nature under Section 2. Section 1 is subject to a deductible. Usually, this is a percentage deductible equal to 2% of the value of the vehicle, but is also subject to a minimum set by each company. A fixed deductible of $500 is also available. Section 2, or theft, includes total theft for all companies and includes fire, lightning, explosion, and natural phenomena or forces of nature for GNP. Section 2 can also include coverage for partial theft and vandalism if the extended endorsement has been purchased. Section 2 is also subject to a deductible. Usually this is a percentage deductible equal to 5% of the value of the vehicle. Again, this is subject to minimums set by the company. However, a fixed deductible of $1,000 is also available. For more information about company-specific coverage, please see our coverage comparison documents or other documents located in the training section of our website. If you have any questions we do not cover in this video, please reference our other resources or contact us today. Remember, these trainings do not take place of reading the terms and conditions, but are simply provided as a courtesy to help you understand the policy better. Please read the policy for any specific coverage questions. Thank you, and have a great day.